Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Tomato Temple from the game Fortnite. If you enjoyed this tutorial, all I ask is that you please hit that like button and if you do make it all the way to the end, please share the video with a friend. Sharing is caring. And if you don't, Crazy Tomato Man will haunt your dreams. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Anyway, let's get started. This is a long one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been pretty excited to put this out. I really do hope that you enjoy it. Now, before we begin the build, I just want to tell you a couple of things. Number one, these are the materials that you are going to require to make the build. There are quite a few of them, and you will need a lot of them. So please do make sure that you are prepared. And on top of that, it actually doesn't take up too much room, but the amount of space that you're going to need is a 37 block by a 39 block area. And I would always recommend actually building out the grid in your world if you do want to precisely plan it out. And of course, pause the video if necessary if you do need any time to gather all of that stuff and plan out the build. But without any further ado, let's make Mr. Tomato Head proud. Otherwise, he'll probably eat us. <laughs> and let's get started. Begin the build by coming to the front left-hand corner of your grid. Skip this part if you haven't actually placed the grid. Count to the right of the front left-hand corner by one, two, three. And then inwards by one, two, three, four, five, six. That way, we're both starting in the exact same place as each other. Very important. On top of this block, place three stone brick. One, two, three. Then place a grey concrete on top. Go right of the grey concrete by nine using brick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then place a grey concrete on top. Place a brick going right, grey on top. Brick going right, grey on top. Brick going right, grey on top. Extend the grey to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a stone brick underneath. Grey to the right. Stone brick underneath. Grey to the right. Stone brick underneath. Grey to the right and then a stone brick underneath. You then want to extend that to the right by eight using your stone brick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna place a gray concrete and we're gonna extend that down to the ground like that. Well, it also ha so happens that we want to take this gray concrete and we want to extend it backwards and we want to extend it backwards by 10. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then place nine stone brick coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven 11 gray concrete, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then I want you to connect that down to the ground using your stone bricks. Just like that. What we are then going to do is we are going to take this grey concrete and extend it to the right by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then place nine stone brick going right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven gray concrete going right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and then extend that 11th block down to the ground using a stone brick and also extend that grey concrete forwards by an additional 10. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine stone bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're going to place ten grey concrete, which should connect us back to the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should give us a shape. It's quite overwhelming because it's a very large shape. Those should look exactly like this. Now, once you have done that, you've actually built quite a lot of the foundation for the tomato temple. So, well done, number one. However, our work is not done. So, on the front of the temple, there is three entrances. The entrances are quite easy to make. You see, where we have the grey concrete with the stone brick underneath, in the middle of the front of the temple, you want to place a grey concrete underneath the stone brick, fan to the right, left, and then extend down. And that will create an individual doorway. Of which there wants to be two made like this. So on the opposite side, the same thing. Down, right, left, and then down on both sides to create a simple Minecraft door. And then there are three rows of stone brick in between these two doorways. And the doorways will meet in the middle. So it should hopefully be fairly obvious you have to place two rows of three stone brick in between with then a doorway in between those. So they should look exactly like that and hopefully you can see how I managed to reach that point right there. Now the next part of this involves us filling in the top of the area just above the doors. And there are going to be some minor details applied to the front of the temple. So. In between the middle door on the left and right, we are going to place ourselves a netherrack. Like that. We're going to place stone brick stairs next to the netherrack upside down on both sides. Grey concrete in front. And then flint and steel to light the netherrack. Then, we are going to fill in the remainder of the front of the temple. However, the front of the temple does still have quite a bit of detail left to add, as there are two sets of stairs on the front of the temple, which I think that we should probably make next, once you have filled this in. And as a small little detail, there are also torches coming out from the upper sides of the entrances on the left and right, on the sides that they are. So, meaning the left entrance, torch on the left, right entrance, torch on the right. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to take the grey concrete on the top left corner of the front of the temple, and we'll do this to the right as well, so you can start either side, and extend the concrete towards you by three. One, two, three. And then extend inwards by also three. One, two, three. We then extend down and inwards until we hit the ground. Like that. And then all we're going to do is roll up a few rows of stone brick stairs like this in between the grey concretes until you have a set of stone brick stairs that are essentially as high as the rest of uh, whoops as the as high as the rest of the temple. So right about there, and we are then going to simply place some stone bricks in the top. And not only that, but we are also going to place some stone bricks around this as well, because we obviously don't want to have any of our staircases exposed like that. And then we're going to do the same on this opposite side, side here. So on this opposite side, we're going to extend the grey concrete towards us by three. One, two, three. And then left by three as well. One, two, three. And then we'll extend down and inwards until we once again reach our goal. I'm going to fill the sides in first this time using stone brick stairs. Or <laughs> using stone bricks. It'd be inefficient to use stairs, although it could be done. It'd be really awkward though. Uh, we're then going to place stone brick stairs 
there's where I got confused. In the front here, just leading us up to the top of the temple. There's multiple levels to the temple, and this is what I'd call like the second level. Fill in the top with stone bricks. So, now you can see we've actually got a pretty decent temple going. We're not doing too badly here. Now, once that has been complete, we do have quite a few more things to do surrounding the base of the temple. So, on the three remaining sides, you may have noticed that we have rows of stone bricks. Now, this isn't by accident. What we want to do is we want to extend the rows of stone bricks outwards by two. It will look like one, two. Place a row of grey concrete on the outside of those two rows. And then you extend that grey concrete down and outwards on both sides respectively. So on the left, and we'll also be doing the same thing on the right. Like this. And then, I suppose it was a little bit silly of me to extend the end blocks um, towards us. But what you actually want to do is you want to have it so that you have a set of stairs lined up like this with the grey concrete blocks. So the stairs actually start where I told you to place stone bricks, which I do apologise for, that was a little silly of me. But, easy fix, simply remove the uh, stone bricks and place some stairs in there instead. Like that. And then all you have to do from there is simply fill in the underneath part here using stone bricks. And we will completely do the rest of the filling in a little bit later on all the way around the temple. However, that's what we want to have right now. And let's just roll through that again. It's quite easy to remember, hopefully. Uh, on the back here, for instance, we take the stone bricks that we have on the ends and we extend them back by two rows. One, two... And don't tell anybody, but I actually think I've kind of got my little grid a little bit out of whack. But, uh, don't, don't say anything. And then we're going to place two rows of stone brick stairs coming out the end here as well. One, two. And then stone bricks in between these stone brick stairs. And then a grey concrete coming out of the back, like that. And then you extend the grey concrete down to the ground. You see, I didn't get run by many rows, guys. I, just one. Just one. I really hope that uh, this doesn't affect anything, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I do apologize. I really... I, I, I guess I did mismeasure my grid. But I'm hoping that the measurement is in the ground and it's not wrong in relation to where the temple should be. That won't make too much sense, but hopefully I have got the actual grid wrong rather than the measurements of the temple. In that case, if you have got your grid right, this shouldn't affect you. Anyway, I'm going to fill in underneath these stairs here using stone bricks. Like that. And I'm also going to place stone brick stairs coming inwards from each one of the upper grey concrete blocks. The reason being, of course, is so that we can then climb the multiple sides of the temple. Like this. Which leaves us just one remaining side, and I'll go through it again because it's just one more time. Two stone brick stairs coming outwards from each end of the row of stone bricks. Stone bricks in between all of that. Grey concrete on the end, and then grey concrete coming down and outwards on both sides. We then want to place stone bricks uh, just on the outside of these stairs. And I'm doing this a little bit faster, ladies and gentlemen, because we have done this quite a few times already. And then we'll be placing stone brick stairs um, coming inwards from each of the upper grey concrete blocks. Like this, which should hopefully be quite easy to do. Boop, 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 boop. Just like that. Which should leave us this. And this is actually a huge amount of the base of the temple complete. Now, let me tell you something that is not going to be fun. And we do have to do, unfortunately. We must fill in the remaining areas of the temple on the sides that we can still see from the outside. Meaning, and I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. It's actually easier visually. Meaning that... As we look at the outside of the temple, we don't want to see any gaps. They must all be filled in with stone bricks. And whilst we are in a filling in crusade, we must 
also fill in the top of the temple where all of the sets of the stairs lead to. It's going to be filled in using stone bricks. Later on we will be customizing a little bit with a little bit of dirt, growing some trees, adding some like fallen leaves, foliage, you know that sort of stuff, and also some vines. However, all of these have to be done and I think that the best way for me to take care of this part in particular in the video is to have a nice little speed up, time lapse, quick session. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know what you gotta do. Let's get it done. There we are. Now that would have actually been sped up for the video, so please do of course pause the video if necessary to make that part. This is absolutely monolithic and it really does just require a lot of time. Hopefully it's not too difficult to actually build though. So once you have got that sorted out ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we want to do is turn our attention towards the front of the build. I want you to place five rows of stone brick stairs coming backwards from these upper outside grey concrete. One, two, three, four, five. And you want to do this coming all the way up the sides of this build. So you don't actually want to do it on top because it makes no sense to fill the top in with stairs. Although it would add a little bit of detail to be honest. However, you do just want to place them one, two, three, four, five. Five wide coming all the way up both sides and uh, they, they place sideways. And by sideways I mean upside down. There we go. Okay, next we want to place grey concretes on the ends of the stone brick stairs. Like this. Easy. Next, we want to place stone bricks in between all of it. So, all of the top, we are meant to be able to walk up on top of this. Hence why we're creating a nice solid foundation. So, next, we want to do something which is a little bit tricky. Uh, starting from on top of this row of stone bricks that we placed in between the grey concrete, specifically didn't use grey concrete, we want to place a row of five stone brick stairs. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. However, we also want to have five rows of stone brick stairs coming up and backwards. That is the first one. So we'll have like two rows, three rows. See why this is annoying? four rows, and then that'll be five. So you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five rows coming all the way up to the top. And I'm just going to now do that for the entire width of the walkway. And I'll tell you what I might also do, because I don't want to accidentally leave any gaps in the temple. And it's quite easy to do, because there's quite a few layers, there's quite a few depths with the temple. Uh, I might, now that we have done those rows, connect that down to the ground using the stone bricks, like this. Because as I said, there, there are so many layers to the temple, it is kind of easy to um, uh, kind of like get away from you, and before you know it, you've got a load of gaps in your build, and uh, it doesn't look so good. So we'll be doing this on both sides like this, uh, there we go, all the way up from top to bottom. Even if it does kind of contradict the build in some ways, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit, um, we just want to have something which should look like that. So a nice solid set of stairs. And we then want to take this nice solid set of stairs, and we want to take the top and extend it backwards by one row, using stone bricks. Bloop. Like that. So I want you to then take the ends of that row and extend it upwards by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to place a doorway right in the middle. Like this. Just like that. Easy. We are then going to 
and this this might actually come back to bite us a little bit um, but we're, we're gonna do it this way anyway we're going to place two rows of stone bricks to the right of what we've just made like this so top to bottom stone bricks two rows same on the left like one two like that now once you've done that I want you to take those rows and extend them backwards by eight one two three four five six seven eight and the same for the other side one two three four five six seven eight there we go we're gonna connect them together at the back like that okay so now that is all connected together I want you to place a row of stone bricks all the way inside the top of the temple like this going all the way around just like that now this is significant because this layer in particular is where we are going to be placing some additional entrances so on the left side for instance you want to find the middle block of the row that you just made which would be this one and you want to place a gray concrete left and right of the middle extend the gray concrete upwards by two like this and connect it at the top same on the back you find the middle block which is this gray gray extend upwards and connect at the top and the same on the right you take the middle gray 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 extend across like this on the front of the build however it's a bit different we're only going to have a row of stone bricks coming up on top of what we've made it's going to be three rows high like that and it's going to connect to those entrances as well and those entrances are also going to connect to each other with a 90 degree angle of stone bricks like this wrapping around the sides like that as easy as that now once you have done that ladies and gents what are we going to be doing next well we are going to place a row of upside down stone brick stairs directly above what we've just made so just going all the way around the top of this upside down stone brick stairs directly above what we've just made like this light gray concrete on top of that like so and then stone slabs around the top and that is going to give us what I would call the very top of the temple where the tomato head idol is going to sit and you can fill the top of this in with pretty much anything I might even use a bit of grey concrete for contrast however anything will do and most of it shall be covered up by Mr. Tomato Head himself so it's no big deal but what we are left with is this construction right here which is important that is the very top middle part of the temple and we have to make three staircases coming up from all sides well left right and back coming up to meet that so let's start on the back just just for a bit of symmetry really on the back of your build I want you to come down to the row of stone bricks here in between the rows of grey concrete well I want you to find the middle stone brick which would be this one and I want you to place a stone brick stairs on top of this block once again in the middle of the stone brick row you place a stair and you want to have a set of stone brick stairs that leads up from that point up back up back exactly how you would expect stairs to do coming all the way up to the very top of the temple and it may be that we actually have to destroy a block to slot these stairs in however that's very very easily done I'm sure that we won't uh, have any trouble however it's it's a very long set of stairs ladies and gents it is a very long set of stairs we are gonna have to destroy that top block but that's perfectly fine I anticipated this as you get up to the top you'll just have to destroy that place a stone brick stair in there instead and you can see ladies and gentlemen how that connects together and it should connect together perfectly on all sides so we want to do that and we want to extend the stairs left and right by two so the stairs themselves want to be five rows thick 
like this. And it actually takes a really long time to do. Hence why I think I'll choose to place just one set of stairs like this with you, and then we'll probably time-lapse the rest of it, because it is just the same thing repeated over and over again, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to have to do exactly this two more times, and it is quite a timely process. But the stairs want to be five rows thick, and once we have done this, a quite timely portion of it is going to be devoted to us filling in underneath the stairs. And we're only going to do the sides of that. We're, we're only going to do the sides. So, once you have a load of stairs coming all the way up like that, all we're going to do is we're just going to place a row of stone bricks just underneath said stairs like this. So, what, it comes to this point here? Am I right? Yep. And we just want to fill the cider of that in using our stone bricks. And I, I have found that left to right is a lot easier, especially if you're in bedrock, as you do not build at the same speed going up and down in bedrock, which is something I've complained about about a million times, so I'm not going to say anything about it. See, I really... I, and here I am saying something about it. I really do wish that the descent and ascending um, block placements were the same, but hey, what can you do? And uh, we're just going to fill in this opposite side here. And that will give us one staircase, and we need two more. Uh, yeah, the front of the temple is definitely a little bit different to the sides of the temple. So, we just want to have something which should look exactly like that, ladies and gentlemen. Once you have got that sorted out... We're just going to come to the other sides and we'll have the same rows of stairs built in to both sides. And once again, I'll, I'll help you with the starting placements. Really easy. On this side of the temple, the left side, you find the stone brick here, right in the middle of the row of stone bricks. And you place a stair and then up and back you guys get the idea until you reach the top. So I'm going to be quiet, we're going to time lapse this part ladies and gentlemen, and then I will show you what has to be done next. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we should have so far. Now, once you have done all of the sets of staircases, which you're probably working on now as I have sped up the video. The next thing, however, it's also something else uh, that we have to do, is we have to extend down the stone bricks at the top of the temple and I'll actually create kind of like a right angle connecting all of the sides of the stone brick stairs together so like on the front corner for instance and on this back corner as well it'll kind of connect everything together it'll piece it all together like this on the ground especially uh, not there but here here and here there we go and it'll connect everything together now once we have finished working on that and I, as I should say do make sure that you pause the video if you haven't reached this point right here. Uh, we are still at a point where we haven't really done anything quite technical, so again, make sure that you're all caught up. And once we have finished connecting all four of these corners together, we will be adding some more detail um, focus towards the corners of the temple at the bottom. Whether you guys realize it or not, we have made a huge part of the tomato temple already. So once you have reached this point right here, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so once you have reached this point right here, the next thing we want to do is come towards the front of the temple. And you want to take the back of the stairs that we have on the front of the temple here, you take this grey concrete and you place a row of stone bricks coming backwards from that grey concrete right there. Now, once you have done that, we also want to place a row of grey concrete on the inside of the stairs, making this shape. We're going to place two more rows on top. One, and then two. 
And then we're going to place stone brick stairs like this, kind of like facing all sorts of different ways, on top of every other block on top of it. So kind of like a castle pattern, you know, the sort of thing you'd find on the top of the castle, like every other block. We're going to fill the top of it in using some uh, grey concrete like this. Just like that. And once you've done that on that side, we also... Oh, by the way, we also want to add some stone bricks. Uh, some stone brick stairs, kind of like in this position. And this position, like on the front side like this. And again, kind of facing them different odds apart like that. Make it look a little bit different. And we want to do the same thing on the opposite side here. So we'll take this grey concrete and we'll extend it backwards using stone bricks. And then we'll add two more rows on top. We'll extend it inwards just behind the stairs as well. Like that. And then we're going to have kind of like the castle pattern just on top. Grey concrete in the top of this. Just so that nobody can kind of like jump into the top of it. And then on the side of it, on the front, we're just going to have, like, stone bricks. Uh, stone brick stairs. <laughs> Whoops. Like that. Just kind of, like, facing outwards. And it just creates kind of, like, a cool pattern around the base of the temple. And uh, on the back, we actually want to do the same thing. So on the back, we do want to have the exact same shape. And the way you find it on the back, because we don't have the, you know, the set of stairs on the back, is if you take the side of the stairs, you want to take this corner at the bottom, Move right one, and this is the position. You place six stone bricks coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then connect to the middle wall, like that. Place two rows of stone bricks on top. Fill the top of it in using grey concrete. Place stone brick stairs facing sideways and stuff all the way uh, all the way around on top of every other block. And then you kind of extend out the side like that using your stairs. And if you like, it is kind of meant to be an entrance. You can leave like a double entrance here just on the back. And you might even want to place a little bit of uh, like a shadow inside. Just so that it kind of like, you know, it looks like an entrance. And we do the same on the opposite side also. So we take like the side of the stairs here. The corner block on the inside. Move out one, one, two, three, four, five, six stone bricks, and then we add two rows on top. We connect it together, add two rows on top like that, like this, and then sideways every other um, stone brick stair, something like that anyway. It, it can face the same way, it can't, it's up to you. And then you fill the top of it in using your grey concrete, just like this. And then we add the sideways stone brick stairs. I'm not actually sure if I did it on the opposite side. Yes, I did. And uh, I keep using stone bricks instead of stone brick stairs. That's driving me crazy. <laughs> like that. And then we just have to have an entrance on the back as well. As we do want to be able to get inside the tomato temple. And that is a lot of the detail added to that particular part of the build. Now, once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen... The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add some more detail around the build before we actually move up to the big final part. So more detail around the build. I'm going to dump these materials here and I'm going to grab some different stuff. I'm going to grab, say, green carpet, brown carpet, bone meal, oak saplings, dirt, cobblestone stairs. And I'm also going to need a little bit of cyan terracotta and grey concrete as well. Oh, and also torches, because we are going to place torches either side of the entrances, like here and here, at the top of the build. Just to kind of like light them up and highlight them. Just like this. You don't have to, but, um, you know, it kind of does add a little bit more of a guidance. And you can even do the same thing, like, if you want to add them, like, left and right of the entrances down here. Like, it kind of just shows people, you know, it's, it's kind of like a little bit of a highlighting tool. Anyways, once you have done that, what are we going to add around the temple? So, around the temple, specifically on the sides, there's actually a lot of plant life. So, I'm going to dig a dirt, for instance, on every single corner of the temple. I'm going to place an oak sapling, and I'm going to grow it. Like that. I'm going to have four of those, one on each corner. 
But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab some like brown carpet and some green and I'm just going to kind of like mess up the area like that using the different carpets just to kind of create the effect that the temple's not perfect. And I'm going to do this on every single side. And something that can also be done, you don't have to do this by the way if you don't want to, um, something else that can be done to kind of like create a, a much more of a temple effect, make it a bit more um, real, is you can like take out some corners of the temple and you can, um, you can kind of like, uh, what, what you can do is that you can like build up some grass and dirt and stuff around the side of the temple. As I've kind of taken the temple and I've made it like nice and perfect, however in the original version in the game, the temples don't necessarily look, look, necessarily look like this. The temple is kind of like roughed up, it's got a lot of grass around it, it's got a lot of dirt, it's got a lot of leaves and stuff. So you might want to kind of add that, and that's kind of what we're doing now, is we're making the temple less perfect. Whereas before, it was kind of perfect, you know? It was, it, it kind of like had, it, it was almost too perfect. It's almost as if somebody literally just built the thing, which we have, but you guys get what I'm talking about. And all the way around the temple, by the way, this is something that uh, I might even save until later. Around the temple, I'm go I am going to dig a fine, uh, a, basically, a, just, I'm, I'm going to dig around the temple. And I want to uh, replace all of the grass and dirt with cyan terracotta, like this. And it's just going to go all the way around. If it's still called Cyan Terracotta, actually it doesn't show me the name of the, of the material right here, but it used to be called Cyan Terracotta, once upon a time clay as well. But Cyan Terracotta, basically the grey terracotta, let's make sure that that's correct. Yeah, Cyan Terracotta, and we're going to dig that all the way around. But on the corners, I'm going to mess it up a little bit, like uh, I'm going to place perhaps some like grey concrete, just to kind of like put a little bit of a corner on it, something like that. You could easily just use dirt as well, but I'm actually going to do that all the way around the temple. And uh, I'll probably do that now, actually. And it's, it's going to be quite a long process. So I think that I am going to just kind of like, uh, I'm going to time lapse this a little bit. But I'm going to get rid of all the grass, going to place some cyan terracotta uh, around the temple, a little bit of uh, grey concrete in the corners, stuff like that. That's actually uh, a little bit out there. Let's come here and then just shave off the side there. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to do that on all four of the sides here, and uh, we'll just see what it, look, it looks like afterwards, because there's a lot of road surrounding the actual tomato temple. There's a lot of road, but there is also, like I said, there's quite a lot of grass and stuff, so you've, you've got just got to strike that balance. I mean, you've probably, if you're making this, you probably play Fortnite, and uh, you can kind of give it your own little spin. And you can even decorate the area if you like with like ice cream trucks and stuff like that, which I will be leaving a link for in the card system too. But let me just kind of like uh, renovate the area around the base of the temple and then we can, uh, we can talk about actually putting a lid on this or a tomato on it as, uh, as it were. You'll see what I mean. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get this done. So that is what your tomato temple would look like if you add a little bit of a structure going around it. I actually do think it improves things quite a bit. I do think it looks quite nice like that. And what else you can do to make it look a little bit nicer? And uh, the, the, these are materials I don't actually have on me, which is kind of annoying, but I'll definitely make sure to include them in the list, is I'm going to grab some jungle leaves and some vines. And I'm going to just add some jungle leaves and vines towards the top of the temple here, like on the front left-hand corner, top of the temple here. I'm just going to add some vines, kind of like wrapping around like this. And they're slowly going to kind of like come all the way down and they're gonna like ride down the side here like try and make this look as mm, I, I mean kind of like a, a, as least man-made as possible it's kind of difficult though 
you know, when you're placing stuff like this, especially when it is like a man-made structure, but, like, have the leaves come down like this, and I'd highly recommend placing some vines around the place as well, so, wherever you kind of see fit, you know, on any one of the sides, you can feel free to do this, and you can add more and more leaves, like, around the temple as well, kind of, like, build them up a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of up to you how far you want to go with it, like, I'm, I'm not gonna completely do it all in this tutorial, you know, but, uh, Get, feel free to add it and kind of like make just make the temple your own add as much detail as you're comfortable with adding so for instance like on top of these parts here you could add more like green carpet and some brown carpet and stuff um absolutely anyway you know just just adding little bits of detail really will improve it especially in the long run you know you don't have to it doesn't have to look perfect and pristine, and that's kind of the exact opposite of uh, of what the temple is supposed to be. And those vines will gradually grow as we just finish out this tutorial too, which is going to be great. So, as you can see, ju just with the small changes that we've made there, we have made a huge difference to the temple itself. And I'm just going to get rid of these materials. So what we need now is kind of like we need the white concrete, red, orange, blue. Um, we need quartz slab, we need dark oak wood slabs for this part as well. And uh, we even need uh, some buttons and we are also going to need um, the lime terracotta and the green terracotta. And later on the cobblestone wall too. So come all the way up to the top of the temple and this is actually the last bit of detail that we're going to be adding. I want you to come all the way up to the top of the temple. And I, want to find, and I want you to find the middle of the left side of the top of the temple, which is right here. And I want you to place an orange concrete on top of that middle left block. On top of that, a white concrete. On top of that, an orange. Go right with the orange, up one, and then right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to then go down, right, white underneath, orange. We're then going to add another orange and white on the inside of the single rows of white and orange, like this. We're then going to take this whole thing and extend it one row towards us. So, all of the orange, all of the white, just extend it one row towards us. This is looking a lot like a traffic cone. <laughs> what we then want to do is we want to take the very top middle part of this and we want to place an orange concrete in front of the top middle. Blue concrete either side like this. And then we want to place underneath the blue parts, we want to place red concrete coming down to the ground. Underneath the orange part, white concrete coming down to the ground. Left and right of the white concretes, we want to place white concrete. And then we want to take the middle three blocks and extend them one row towards us, meaning all of the red, all of the white, and, well, yeah, all of the middle three, all of the red and all of the white, like that. And we want a similar thing coming out the back. So, out the back, for instance, we want to take all of the orange and all of the white, and we want to extend it one row towards us. All of it like that. And then it's pretty much the same thing, except we want to take the middle of the top, orange concrete, and then orange left and right. Underneath the middle orange, we place our white concrete as usual, and we place red left and right. White left and right of the red, extend the three middle rows towards you, like this. Uh, the reason that there's no blue on the back, by the way, that's what the bow wants, wants to look like. The reason that there is no blue on the back is that is because that's a bow tie. Uh, and you don't wear a bow tie on the back, or at least not, uh, not the same way you wear it on the front anyways. I want you to take the red concrete, and I want you to place red concrete right in the slap bang middle of the top of this. Right there. Um, we're going to extend the red concrete left by two. One, two. Then up left, up, left, up by three, one, two, three. We're then going to go right one, up one. We're then going to go right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're then going to go down, right, down by three, one, two, three, in, down, 
in, down, in. So that is the shape that we want to have made. I want you to extend all of the red concrete towards you a row. So all of it, absolutely all of it, one row towards you. Like that. We are then going to place a quartz slab right at the base of the middle of the head. And then quartz slabs up left diagonal, up right. Red concrete on top and in the middle. Quartz slab on top of the red concrete. And then red concrete coming out from the quartz slabs. Red concrete also coming up and outwards diagonally in relation to those diagonal reds. And then we're going to place a red concrete on top of each. And then quartz slabs on top of the red. Red concrete inwards from the quartz. And then quartz on top of the reds. Red concrete's coming inwards from those quartz slabs. And then a solid quartz block in between the top two reds. Extend up that quartz block by one using a slab. And then you want to place a solid quartz block underneath. Place yourself white concrete left and right of the quartz with buttons for eyes. And we're going to place a row of red concrete underneath the quartz and white concrete like this. I'm quickly going to get rid of the uh, white concrete for grey. And I'm going to place grey, I'll have to come round the back for this, in all of the remaining empty space inside of the mouth here. So grey concrete all in the empty space surrounding the mouth. So like when you look at it from the outside in, you have this creepy Pringle man looking at you. And uh, the reason that he kind of looks like a Pringle Man is this moustache, actually, uh, which we're kind of missing. So at the moment, he kind of just looks like a mental tomato. Uh, but we want to place a uh, dark oak wood slab coming across the top of the row of free red concrete. Extend that downwards on the left and right. And then outwards on the left and right also, like that. So the effect that you're looking for, now he looks like a crazy Pringles Man. Now that's what he looks like. <laughs> uh, so once you have done that, we want to come to the top of the build. And um, what? actually, you know what? We'll come to the back of the build first and we will uh, make it 3D. Uh, add another row of red concrete coming outwards from the row of red concrete that we just placed. So just come in outwards, backwards like this. We're then going to fill in this shape using the red concrete. There are no patterns as far as I can tell on the back of the face or the back of the head as it is. Um, so we should be alright here just to kind of like fill it in using a layer of red concrete that is one row outwards in relation to the actual shape. And I'm just going to extend the top up as well by three like this to make it even with the front. And I'm also going to, I think that I might... Nah, you, we'll, do, we'll do that after. So once the back of the head's been done, I want you to use the um, lime terracotta. And I want you to place lime terracotta left and right of the quartz slab at the top front of the head. I'm gonna extend those outwards, like that. And I'm gonna place a row of three lime terracotta coming backwards diagonally from those two lime terracottas like this. And I'm going to have the lime terracotta come across the back of the head as well. It's a headband, by the way, like this. So just kind of like connecting like that. Uh, on the top of the head, I think we're going to extend this up a little bit, right? So we're just going to place red concrete in the top of the head like this. And the thing about the top of tomato head, he is a tomato. So right in the middle, we're going to place a green terracotta, extend it outwards in all directions. Take the middle, extend it up, and then place a green terracotta up and outwards diagonally like this. And then you'll get like a pretty crazy looking tomato man. Okay, next little bit of detail that we're going to add to him is we are going to need some cobblestone wall and some cobblestone stairs. And we're going to kind of go around the head here, and I just want to see how I did it on the original. Here we go. So we're going to go around the head here, and we're going to kind of sparingly place some cobblestone wall of varying heights around the top of tomato head 
like this because he's got a load of like knives and forks around the top of his headdress headband I don't even know what to call it that kind of looks like this and uh, I might even place an additional one like here just in the corner like that and uh, on top of a couple of them I'd highly recommend just adding maybe like um, some sideways cobblestone stairs like that I think that might actually be too high I might knock the top off of that there and then place yeah there we go that looks a little bit better and uh, there you go, you've pretty much just got Mr. Crazy Tomato Head. You could even like add a, a couple down the side here too, if you so wanted to. And in doing that, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether you've realized it, but that, that is your Fortnite Tomato Temple complete. This is what your Tomato Temple will look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. If you wanted to make just one Fortnite build off of my channel that you wanted to make the greatest impact, I think that you would probably build this bad boy. This is absolutely insane, even for my standards. I really do think that this is probably one of the cooler builds that I've made recently. The Tomato Temple, ladies and gents. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. And if you have made it all the way to the end, please share the video with a friend. Sharing is caring. If you would like to keep up to date with the channel, subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That ensures that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box, which is very, very important as well. And if you do want to make any more Fortnite builds, I'd highly recommend checking out the card system and the description below for my Fortnite builds playlist, which has many of them in right now. Trump Tower, Der Burger, the original Tomato Town restaurant. We have the golf cart, the ice cream truck. We have the... Um, Tilted Towers Clock Tower and also even Dusty Depot. Many, many builds from the channel. You guys can check it all out. Card system and the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>